and welcome back to our final segment of the Great Green Home Show. We are here talking with Jackie Ivey of Buccini, Poland, and we're talking about the Market Street Initiative. Right but, I, but I want to go back to Venice a little bit and talk about um, why people live in the cities in, 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 in Europe and how economical that is. How much, I mean, do, is it better? Do they save a lot of money compared to living out in the country? I mean, you know, their cities are packed. Their cities are packed, and it's and it's the only viable economic um, alternative for them. One, because cars, gas, all of that is so expensive. And it's going to be very, very it's, expensive here as yeah, it is now. Yeah, it's prohibitive. Well, and, and well, as a global economy now, we're just starting to feel the weight of that. We're, I mean, we're going to end up in the same boat. Right? right, and I was, you know, I was working at a in a museum. I didn't make a lot of money, and the only thing I could afford was my rent, mm -hmm. my food, and, of course, a little drinking on the side. Okay, <laughs> that's another show. <laughs> Doug, take her away. No. <laughs> Too many jokes. <laughs> so, um, and you didn't want to buy more food than you can eat in, say, two or three days. Right, so which is was, what we should be doing here. Which is what we should be doing Local here. Local produce. Exactly. Absolutely. So, and there weren't, a, it was a lot of it was probably organic. It may not have had that seal on it, mm -hmm. but um, so it wasn't. Tasted good. Tasted good. Didn't You're have a lot now. of preservatives, and you didn't want it hanging out in your fridge for more. And the fridge was small. All of the appliances were teeny tiny. Yeah. You know, I think about it. When I came back to America, I remember standing on the supermarket aisle and being overwhelmed with kind too of much coffee. Too many choices. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, well, I didn't yeah, need I mean, it. Even the, I mean, even the, like for instance, not to dwell on alcohol, but even the beer over there is right. the beer brewed by the regional brewery. Everybody drinks the beer that's made around the corner from the house. Well, I think we can... Small regional brews dotted all over Europe, hundreds of them. Nobody drinks Heineken over there. And you know the name some of, of the people every in London, one of them. Some of the people in London drink Budweiser, but that's about it. Everybody else is drinking the local brew stuff. And that's what's happening here. I think what we're seeing is a lot of what is, like I said, we're behind Europe because they've had to economically make the shift, and now we're going to have to economically because we're in the global market competing with people who produce things for less. So that's going to bring things down. But it, no cause for alarm. We need to change our lifestyles, and it's actually a better community. Living in the city is wonderful. I'm coming. I'm telling you right now, I'm coming down there. Yeah. I mean, I, I am all it's about. It's fantastic. You know, you can see all different walks of life. Yeah. I mean, how nice would it be to have a slightly more diverse population well, around? Well, absolutely, and, and the melting pot is where it's at for, you know, fun, intellectual exchange, all that sort of things. But just, I want to save money. I Absolutely. mean, I'm driving a lot, and I want to save money, and I want to live in a place where I go. Is there? There's a supermarket coming down there, also. Yeah, we've right? actually broken ground down um, just on South Market Street on a new shop right. Oh, there. excellent! Yeah, excellent, and, and that's my mom's favorite <laughs> shop. Right. So, whereabouts in South Big Market? Time. It's, um, I guess, it would technically be where Route 13 starts. You know how it's between Market Street and Walnut Street. Okay. Um, just south of what we've built by, at by Christina Landing, Army right? Just south there? of the the yeah. Salvation Army. So, right. so people get ready. People, People get, get ready. People I want to walk with ready. my new, uh, you have a Barney's, is it a Barney's bag? It is a Barney's bag. But it's huge. It's the best bag I've ever seen. There's a body stuff. in that bag. <laughs> it's two or three bodies. It's body. It's like a, it's, it's a, But you know, know it, it's actually a project that Mayor Bloomberg did with Barney's okay. and Hable, which is a great, um, very hip kind of fashionable bag maker, right. just a canvas bag. And but it's it, big. I mean, this and is it's big. big. And it says on the back it's of it, it says, now. lose the plastic. And the money goes back into the green initiatives for Manhattan. Oh, that's excellent. And okay. we should have something like that here. Yeah, well, let's make actually, a Wilmington well, version. Actually, we we have some of them. Like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods both sell their own canvas bags in store for you to carry the groceries. They got to make them bigger, like this one. Well, they, I got to yeah, get a big one. I do like because this I want to get. I want to get a decent amount of groceries. I want to visit the grocery store two, three times a week. Not have a big refrigerator. All these things that are coming from people. This is great discussion to let people know it's okay. You don't have to have the big car. You don't have to have three cars. You can live well. You can live in the city with great people. That's what it's really about. Absolutely. And so let's talk about come see us. What do you have down there? What can people come see right now? And tell them where the apartments are located. Well, absolutely. Well, there. down in what's already done are the things we've done on the waterfront, which is both Christina Landing and River Tower. Mm -hmm. Now, on Market Street, yep. what we've started on is the city has taken the initiative from the urban planning standpoint. They have gotten rid of the mall. Many of you probably remember the pedestrian mall. Absolutely. All construction is now complete on Market Street. You can drive all the way down Market Street. So it's two-way traffic. Okay. It's parking. It, I, I actually think for that part it is because it mu makes it much more um, habitable. Habitable? Is that a Habit word? Habitable. Habitable. It's, it's the I right know, word. Wrong. Habitable? 
Go to Habitable. Go to Habitable. And Yale gave me a degree for that. (laughs) (laughs) So you can live there, I think, easier. (laughs) But uh, there's beautiful, there's nice sidewalks. Um, It's very pedestrian friendly. Um, People are all over the place. I I used to work on Market Street Mall uh, years ago and really liked going out at lunchtime and walking up and down the mall without having to worry about the traffic and all that good stuff. And I was kind of disappointed when they turned it back into a road. Oh, get it's over me. it. It's just me. Well, well I, everything we're talking about sort of lends itself to, to, to the whole pedestrian thing anyway, though, doesn't it really, sort of? No, I, I disagree, actually. Oh, okay. And she's, <laughs> you're and she's the guest. You're so allowed. You are allowed. Now, well, if you were Paul, you couldn't disagree. No, but I You can't. as the guest, you can you can disagree. Um, so we've got apartments on, on right there on Market Street. Right, we're building apartments. We're almost done at... 837 Market Street. There they have six great loft apartments. We're going to do... Ooh, we're I almost love loft done apartments. on 12 apartments at the corner of 5th and Market where the old 4W5 used to be. Excellent. And we're trying to move some kind of fun, funky live music into the old Queen Theater. Rehab the oh, old Queen some, Theater. Oh, I got some funky musicians for you. He's sitting right next to that <laughs> one right there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you know what? The Grand is already a great anchor for up between 8th and 9th. But we need something to draw people down to do. the southern end And Mr. Bromberg is playing at Cavanaugh's and these days. They yes. Open mic is at yes. Cavanaugh's we, we these do days, the, which uh, is New a New York deal. Cafe, is, if it's even still there or whatever, whatever used to be that is not a great anchor on the other end of well and what what nancy josephson and david bromberg have already done on market street is right. amazing they have rehabbed an old building yep david's amazing shop is on the first floor Best collection nancy of fiddles and, going yeah nancy and want. joseph live um nancy and um sorry david live upstairs went to a dinner party there last weekend and it was all musicians. They just sat down. Is and there played. any reason you didn't invite the two of us? I'm sorry. Well, seriously, oh, well. we I'm know. very sorry. All right, so let's talk about what people can do. Uh, there, it, we want you to be green. We want our businesses. We want our builders. And, and I come from a building background. And you and I both know that it's very hard to become green and do as much green in a building. You've done a fantastic job, by the way. I want to let people know. But we could do more if... If it were if it were more economically feasible, because the government has got people or private people, we are people. paying. Okay, this is a good example, example for for the Happy Harrys. Okay. for us to do a lead silver certified. We we have designed it as lead silver. Right. We are going to pay the Green Building Council sixty thousand dollars for them to give us a piece of paper for them to say yes, this is. So a- basically, for them to look at your architectural prints. And say for them to have an architect look at the prints that you already paid to make, and this is endemic. People need to understand this. This is why one of the reasons we're not getting so many green buildings is because you got to pay them sixty thousand to I review gotta, your prints. Yes, and for them to say, "Boom, it's green." All right, and having been in the building business, once you do all the prints and another architect uh, reviews it, um, we know. Oh, we're getting close on the time. We know. So we need help from people. We need government officials who certify this that are paid by the government rather than you having to pay for it. Right. Inspectors, if you will. Exactly. It's a huge undertaking. We're already incurring a lot of expense to have bought all these buildings and to do the right thing and to further do the right thing. It's inexpensive. So write your congressman, write your senators. Let's get some money for this out of the government so that we we can get get more green buildings. There's okay. so much we need There to is go so over. much more, but we have to go. And thank All you right. so much for coming. Thank you again for being we'll here. We'll be on Market really Street later it. today. Actually. We need to thank our sponsors SunTrust Mortgage, CMI Electric, Energy Services Group, MyEcoAgent.com, Option Insurance Group. Next week, we have Sarah and Line from Sweet Riot Chocolates. And we also have a new segment called Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down that I think you're all going to enjoy very much. I don't know. It'll be weekly. Which is which? Are you thumbs up or am I thumbs up? Uh, We are both thumbs up. Our guest is thumbs up. Everybody else is thumbs down. So we'll see everybody next Sunday. Tune in 11 to 12 here at 1450.